Hey Cancer, welcome to December. We are at the last month of the year. Really, really exciting time. And to celebrate the holidays, I'm actually running a sale on my website. You can get 20% off any of my services using the code GOODTIDINGS through December 21st. So if you want a reading or Reiki session to start the new year off right, now is an excellent time to book. I'll probably extend the sale, being honest, um, and I may even offer some other promotions or do some other stuff. So never hurts to hit subscribe if you haven't done that already and follow me on my other social media uh, just to kind of stay in the know. Anyways, Cancer, I am really interested to dive into the cards here for you. I already have your spread on the table. And I know astrologically, December has a lot going on. We have Mars retrograde at, all throughout the month, actually. And we have Mercury going retrograde at the end. Um, and this Mars retrograde in the sign of Gemini is particularly pronounced. And now what's really, really interesting for you, Cancer, is that the parts of your chart, the parts of the sky that are being most activated right now rule over your 12th house, which is Gemini, the subconscious mind, what is hidden, uh, spiritual realms, dream worlds, can also be hidden enemies. And I'm bringing this up because on the opposite end of this, we have Sagittarius, which for you represents routines, it represents work and coworkers, and can sometimes represent your enemies at work or people you work with who are kind of like gossiping or just, you know, someone who you might be competing with on some level. And I'm really getting this energy very strongly in your cards. We have the Seven of Swords with the Eight of Swords coming from the past. And I honestly got the sense that some of you have been sabotaged by people around you. I do kind of get like a workplace vibe from this, but it could very well be family or other relationships or other people, other situations. Um, these are general readings, so the way that this manifests is going to be different for all of you. For others of you, maybe you have just felt stuck in a situation and it's like anytime you've tried to get out, it's like there's been something sneaky that's kept you in. And I feel like you know you need to take a stand for yourself with the Seven of Wands. You've had to take a stand for yourself. You have to defend yourself. Um, and time is, is fluid. So depending on when you're watching this, maybe you've already stood up for yourself. Maybe you have defended yourself or advocated for yourself in some way. Um, but whenever we see the Seven of Wands, it is defending something, defending your place, defending your well-being, um, defending your light in this particular case with this torch here. And it's almost like when you shine your true light, Cancer, that causes this opposition to fall away or it intimidates people. People don't know what to do with you when you are in a very light energy. And I feel like you almost overcame them with kindness or you just you didn't get stuck in a power struggle. You learned that the more you tried to resist these people or resist your situation, the more stuck it got. And so you decided, I need to light myself up. I need to just bring the energy that I wish to experience, that I, I wish to have in this world. And that's actually causing some interesting shifts. Um... I really do feel like this could all be peaking, especially right now. On December 1st, we have, um, you know, Venus in Sagittarius. Or, uh, I'm sorry, we have Mercury in Sagittarius opposite Mars in um, Gemini. And so this is really creating a lot of opposition. We do also have Venus in Sagittarius opposite Mars in Gemini. I'm sorry, I'm looking down at my notes here. And... Um, with this opposition, it also spikes around the 8th when we have the Sun in Sagittarius opposite Mars and Gemini. These are just really times where it's like, whatever's been going on behind the surface, I feel like it's also going to be revealed. And I think you're going to know who your true friends are, and you're also going to see maybe you have some enemies, or maybe you have some people who aren't actually supporting you. And I, I know this sounds kind of dramatic, um, but this could even just be manifesting in, in something as simple as uh, kind of group normalization. This is basically a phenomenon in psychology where someone tries to make an improvement or commit to a healthy habit, and the people around them will actually resist this 
change. And that's very interesting. Um, you know, if you start to go to the gym, there might be people who try to talk you out of the gym and have you go out with them instead. They'll be like, oh, it won't kill you to just miss this one night or this one day. Uh, come on, like, just join us. And there's something psychological where it's like, people will be threatened by you taking care of yourself or you doing what you need to do. And that's really honestly quite thematic for you this month. Being in Sagittarius season, there's a lot of focus on your routines and on your health. And so there could be some opposition from people. There could be people who are trying to get you to engage in unhealthy habits or bad behavior. And I feel like you are breaking these cycles, Cancer. So don't let these people kind of dim your light. Don't extinguish yourself for other people anymore. And it's it's funny because I feel like as I'm connecting with your energy cancer and seeing this page or daughter of pentacles, it's like, you're kind of like, who, me? I'm intimidating people? I'm, I'm scaring people? How? How? I, there's no way. Because this page or daughter of pentacles is someone who kind of works behind the scenes. It's, it's about working very diligently, even if you're not getting recognized right away. But people have noticed you. People are noticing you, Cancer. They're noticing you this month. Even if you are trying to just stay focused on your work and stay um, kind of in whatever project or prospect you're working on, I think there's people who are trying to distract you from that, which is kind of funny, but also kind of annoying. Um... So that's happening. We do have the sun here as well. So again, there are a lot of things that are coming to clarity. Something is coming into the light of day. I really do feel this around the 8th. Again, that's when the sun in Sagittarius is opposite Mars and Gemini. That could be a day when something is finally revealed in the light of the sun. Opposition is finally revealed in the light of the sun. And I do also get the sense... Um, with Mars conjunct Uranus in Taurus, this is happening on the 6th. I'm sorry, Moon conjunct Uranus in Taurus. The Moon is in Taurus, Uranus is in Taurus. They are coming together on December 6th or December 5th. I'm sorry, these details are driving me crazy. I'm already feeling these retrogrades. Um, it's like a shakeup in your support system. And there, there could be things happening. There could be a lot of drama, but there could also be a lot of really exciting change around this time too. And it, it's making you really want to figure out who your people are. And then with the full moon in Gemini, again, that's happening on the 7th. This is when there's a lot that is being revealed to you, things that have been hidden. It will be exposed. This will all be exposed and maybe it's not even just to you, Cancer. Maybe other people are finally recognizing the things that have been going on in your life or the ways that people have sabotaged you. Or maybe this is even just the ways that you've sabotaged yourself as well. Because if we're being completely honest, uh, when other people sabotage us, we've usually arrived in those relationships after sabotaging ourselves in some way. So maybe there is kind of a dual message there. Um... So just something to kind of keep in mind, and you're very affected by the moon, Cancer, because you are ruled by the moon. So this this full moon in Gemini is a really intuitive and kind of reve revelatory? It's, it's a revelation. Relevatory time. There we go. Um, and it, it's just showing a lot of things in your life. A lot of things that have been kept hidden. And... Um, when we have Mercury and Venus entering Capricorn, interestingly enough, we do have the Page or Daughter of Cups in the future. There could be a new romantic offer or there could be a deepening of an existing relationship. Someone who is sharing something with you emotionally. Emotional conversations, heartfelt conversations with the Page of Cups here. Um, and I'm, I'm really happy to see that. And I feel like Another beautiful thing that's happening this month for you, Cancer, we have Jupiter entering into Aries. Jupiter energy in Aries for you brings expansion in your career as well as your public image. And so whatever sort of conflict has happened or whatever like has been going on, it actually br gives you attention. And there's no such thing as bad attention. At least that's what some people say. And maybe that is somehow bringing opportunities to you or maybe it's unrelated but 
I feel like there's a new job or a promotion that is happening with the Queen of Pentacles. And I even see this as a progression from the Daughter of Pentacles or Page of Pentacles. There is growth that is happening for you. You are coming into greater stability. And it's funny because I, I see this Daughter of Pentacles in the Mother of Pentacles. Maybe there's something with inner child work here for you, Cancer. Maybe you are reparenting a part of yourself. But I actually see this as you stepping into a new role of leadership or mentorship for someone who was once like you. And you are leading people who you once felt like, or maybe you presently feel like, and you are growing into the next role or into the next chapter. So really, really exciting stuff. And I think that's really kind of coinciding with Jupiter entering Aries. Jupiter is going to be there until May or June, I believe. And we actually had Jupiter and Aries earlier this year. I want to say May is when Jupiter first entered Aries and then retrograded and went back into the sign of Pisces. Um, but now there is this energy that's giving you expansion. And it could really be giving you a new platform for the next level. I'm also just remembering another thing astrologically happening on the third of this month. Uh, we have Neptune going direct in Pisces. Again, when Neptune goes direct or retrograde, that can be a time when things are hidden or revealed. Um, so it feels like, again, there's just more energy that's kind of compounding with this revelation or something being revealed to you. Um, so there will be something coming in. And then the new moon in Capricorn on the 23rd, again, really could be a good boon for your relationships or just aligning yourself to helpful people in general. Especially if you are connecting with an earth sign, this could be Capricorn, could be Taurus or Virgo, uh, could also be another water sign, so another Cancer or maybe Pisces or Scorpio. Um, and I, I honestly see a lot of beautiful things coming for you with the sun and this is just really, really nice to see. Of course, we are ending this month off with Mercury going retrograde in Capricorn on the 29th. But honestly, that's more of January's reading. Expect communication to kind of be slowing down. Expect delays in travel plans, especially if you are traveling for the holidays. Just give yourself extra time and kind of give yourself blocks off in your schedule if you can. That might just be a good way to kind of deal with this. Uh, but Mercury retrograde in Capricorn is really going to be having you think a lot about the way that you kind of feel and approach relationships and, and the beliefs you have relative to relationships. And maybe you're healing some things there as well with the sun. But overall, I, I feel like there's just really, really beautiful things that are going to be happening. I, I think you're already going to be feeling this by the end of December, but I, I think you're really going to be feeling it in the first half of next year. So really fun and exciting energy, if I do say so myself. I'm going to end this off by pulling an animal card for you, maybe a couple, just to see what energy you should be embodying for the month of December. What energy should Cancer be embodying for December? Show us clearly, please. We do have the fire ants. And again, this is interesting because this is kind of like colony collapse. I, I see these ants kind of coming together. There's a lot of tension where there should be cooperation. This could be showing up again in the workplace. That makes a lot of sense, especially with ants. But it could also be from your family. It could also be with partnerships or just any close relationship. Um, and so when we see this card coming together, it's almost like you might need to cool down. You might need to wait for your own emotions to settle before you can work collaboratively with something. Or maybe there's just a lot of pressure in the workplace right now, and that could be venting out in interpersonal relationships with people. And that's just something to kind of be aware of as well. Um, but it's almost like Letting things cool down so things can be cooperative again. That's what I'm getting with the fire ant energy for you. Are there any other messages that we have for Cancer? We have the black egg. Getting in touch with your truth. The black egg actually represents the throat chakra. Um, so very, very powerful energy here. And again, maybe some of you are advocating for yourself or speaking a truth, and that is triggering some people. Um, but honestly, it's like, I, I don't think you're expressing yourself in a way where it's like you are 
forcefully arguing or pushing somebody back. It's just like you're speaking your truth. And if that's going to upset people, then they're just not resonant for you anymore. Um, it's not an abusive thing. It's just an incompatible thing. And I feel like with the Fire Ants card, again, you're really focused on where you can find support, where you can derive that from. That just feels really important to me. And when I think of the Black Egg card too, we often think of this card as speaking, as expression, and that is absolutely a part of the throat chakra. The other aspect to it, though, is just knowing our truth. And in order to know our truth, we must first listen to ourselves. So maybe there is some reflection that you are doing right now. Maybe you are sitting in kind of your own unknown, coming into yourself and really kind of incubating in that. And by sitting with yourself, that is when your truth will be revealed to you. So really, really beautiful and profound energy. I also feel like some of you are coming into a speaking role. Uh, maybe you are writing or maybe you're on social media or just getting your words or your information or your wisdom out into the world. That feels really, really important. And I think that's going to be especially important next year. And again, just looking at the elk card at the bottom of the deck, you are building something stable for yourself. You are coming into a lot of stability, and it's important that you take care of yourself because elks are very insensitive and attuned to their environment. And so both what you surround yourself with energetically and what you bring into your body energetically are going to have a large impact as well. And again, that was very tied into this energy for Sagittarius season for you, Cancer. So just kind of repeating the messages at this point. Anyways, that is all I have for you this month. I do hope that this was helpful. Be sure to hit like and subscribe if this did resonate. If I got something for you, if this gave you some new insight, definitely let me know in the comment section down below as well. I love to hear from all of you. You're also welcome to check out the other videos, maybe for your moon or rising sign to see if there are other messages that may come through in those videos as well. Um, I do have that sale again on my website. All of my information is linked down below. So if you want to book a reading, I would do that sooner rather than later. And I will see you all next time. Take care, Cancer, and have a happy holiday.